that things could get really nasty. I mean, the way things are going. The spot's broken 25 at uh, yeah, the recording it, of this video. It's, it's going back below 25. And, and gold is going back to 19, maybe below 19. Um, this rise yesterday was traders being traders, capitalizing on the bad news. Now, this book comes from uh, Richard Duarte, one of the guys I had on uh, a live stream of mine, Ask Yankee, and he personalized it for you. Tim? It's oh, very nice. Stay safe and be prepared. Do you think you're prepared? Well, as long as I'm here, I'm prepared. That's good. You know, That's good. If I if I have to uh, survive um, being uh, well armed, I probably wouldn't want to do it here. Don't blame you. You know, it's a. Uh, it, it, things could get really nasty. I mean, the way things are going, you know, Pal almost sounded like he was apologetic. But I think the, you know, the intent is to control inflation. That's not going to happen. You know, a quarter point interest in the rise in the interest rates is not going to do anything for inflation. And um, it's like spitting in the wind. I got a lot of new stackers that are reaching out to me. I want to get your opinion on silver and gold and what to stack first. Let's say don't have any gold, don't have any silver, got 500 bucks. That's it. That's well, I would you know, obviously avoid gold at $500. Uh, you know, silver is going to be a currency, a barter currency in the near future. Uh, so you want to collect that. I would say um, start with the least expensive, you know, something that's not a sovereign coin. Um, like maybe this? That would be good if you can find it. It's starting to go up rapidly. Okay. And um, I haven't gotten a quote for what I'm going to pick up this afternoon, but um, I got to pay it, Yeah. whatever it is. Okay. Uh, but, you know, something like that or, or one ounce bars or coins, you know, that's the, the smallest amount. Um, Do you have you have some bigger bars in here? Those are like five and ten, ounce, uh, ten ounces, are, right? Well, you got some Johnson Matthew and some um, um, British Mint. Those are Britannia bars. And I still have quite a few of the Johnson Matthew and the Britannias. But they, you know, judging from how many I had and how many I still have. They're going fast. Would you stay at five hundred dollars? Would you? Uh, well, you, you for, for let's see, five seventy. You could like buy two of them, but that now you've tied up all your money in in um, you know one or two items. I would say you want to stick with the smaller stuff. See, one ounce bullion is the cheapest, and you know it's in the twenty eight twenty eight fifty range. Mm -hmm. um, that's manageable. It's mm -hmm. you know you can get quite a bit for five hundred dollars. Uh, junk silver is going up. It's, uh, these, they should be 23 or 24 today. But, um, mm. you know, I'm keeping That's that price till this bag is empty and it's getting empty. And then when I buy a new bag, um, you have to pay market 23 or 24. Okay. Time space. And who knows how long that stays. It's been, it's, you know, spots broken 25 at yeah, the recording it, of this video. It's, it's going back below 25. And and gold is going back to 19, maybe below 19. Um, this rise yesterday was traders being traders, capitalizing on the bad news. Um, but sooner or later, uh, the truth about what's going on in Ukraine will come out. So let's, uh, let's say we step it up and say I had $5,000. How would you split it out then uh, for someone who's new, doesn't have any silver, doesn't have any gold? Okay, people have to make their own decisions about right. how to divide up between gold and silver. You take it, if 5,000 5, is a small amount for you, you don't have to worry about it too much. But if it's significant, you wanna take a chunk of that and put it into gold as a safe place to put your money. It's there for safekeeping. Uh, and the rest I would put into silver. So you, but you need to make that decision. Right. If you have 100000 to spend, you can say, all right, I'll have you know, uh, 50000 in gold and 50000 in silver. And, and there are a lot of people who think that way, and that makes perfect sense. But what, the, what goes through their mind is, how much do I want to put away just to keep safe and it's there if I need it? That's what you put into gold. And the you know wealth preservation. What do I need right? to to maybe use as a currency when you know things go bad? So wealth preservation, mostly from the gold perspective, the gold. maintaining your purchasing power, yes, keeping that wealth through a a crisis or even an SHTF. That that could be yes. perspective. 
but silver. Silver silver is a good currency, a good barter currency. Yeah, but they also say someday silver is going to suppress, suppress gold, surpass gold. Yeah, silver does tend to react more volatilely, uh -huh. and sometimes gold leads, especially in the scenarios that we're seeing right now geopolitically, mm -hmm. gold tends to lead silver. Silver yeah. can sometimes uh, shoot yeah. far more past gold in terms of its uh, reaction. Well, you know, we are... We are um, we're no longer going to use fossil fuels, period. And we're starting tomorrow, I think it is. And um, I don't so think then, we can afford it. What is oil now, 110? Think about that economics. That's, that economic situation is, uh, that can be very damaging. For everybody who, you know, for the, the masses like us, that's going to be very damaging. So Unless marine. you just like being cold. So the blend of silver and gold is really a personal decision, but it should be a blend for different purposes, right? Yeah. Okay. And specifically, at say five thousand dollars of cash that you want to, you know, convert into, you know, less fiat, and more more real money. You need to decide how much you might need in a pinch for as currency, and um, you know, it may not come in my lifetime. It may not come in your lifetime, but it. Um, as an alternative to what's going on now with the massive printing of money that doesn't have any value. And it's, you know, look at Europe. I mean, the Euro has been a phony currency since the beginning right. because they, they never, they never built into the system any um, vehicle to pay down their own debt. So the individual countries in the European Union are drowning in debt and there's no way of paying that debt. So, and you know, that's the big problem. And our debt dwarfs the rest of the debt for the world. Exactly. And, um, you know, the, why are we the world's reserve currency? Because we promise to pay our debt. How's that going to happen? You just raise interest rates another quarter of a point. That makes another quarter of a point harder to pay your debt. So you say it might not happen in our lifetime. Well, you're, you're about to turn um, 76 in a few days, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you have to use your four, toes, we're in trouble. Four days. Four days. Okay. Yeah. Well, happy birthday early. Thank you. Um, but in my lifetime, maybe I'm turning 56 in a few months. I think it's going to happen in this decade. It's going to happen in a few months. <laughs> well, if they don't do something about it, yeah. I mean, you know, they, they the Democrats came up with this three point five trillion dollar bill. They couldn't tell you where half that trillion was going. Half of a trillion was going. They couldn't tell you they want well we need three and a half trillion, but they couldn't tell you where three trillion was going. That's it's crazy. It's crazy. And you know, that's a, that's that's where the problem is centered mm -hmm. right now. Um I was kind of disappointed listening to Powell. I think I know he means well, but he doesn't have any tools in the toolbox. He's out of tools. He's out of tools. Well, I'm going to get some silver right now. Yeah, I had a, a roll here before I knocked it over. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy the surviving oh, thing today. You. Definitely will read that. It yeah. looks very interesting. Tim, when do you think uh, Ukraine's going to either give up or Russia is going to stop. I think Ukraine will be embarrassed enough by this uh, this um, Azov battalion that they'll, they'll fade into the background. Uh, I think uh, Lugansk and Donetsk will probably become independent republics uh, for real. Mm -hmm. And um, what Putin wants, he said he wanted the denazification or something like that. But they, that's what he was talking about, because those are the people who have been killing everybody in the Donbass. Uh, I think that's going to happen. I don't think the total demilitarization of UK will ever happen, uh, especially since all the police stations have AK-47s. Yeah, so. How about Kiev? I think they, they probably learned their lesson. If they haven't, they should have. And it's time to elect a real government and not a, um, a government that is corrupt, run by oligarchs. When do you think they by the way, get the tape? I had a fella from Poland in here. Yeah. And I said, so where did these, where are the oligarchs? Where did they go? And he says, oh, they're on their yachts in the Caribbean. Maldives. Or Maldives. Maldives. That's yeah. When do you think they sit down at, in what, Belarus or whatever and, and, and hash this out? Um, once the Russians have completely surrounded Kiev. 
I mean, the, the shocking thing is, you know, I keep hearing what the Russians are saying and their neighbors, you know, they sure they want to penalize Putin. He's the he's the boogeyman they all need. OK, um, he's, he's the boogeyman but, this administration needed to get us well, to stop it's, it's, looking at their failures. Every NATO country every <laughs> needs a boogeyman and they've got him. OK. Uh, but the not truth, that I like the Putin. Truth will come out. No, no, I'm not supporting him at all. Good. And he's fact, a, he's I think a... what he did was was foolish. But um, and, so and, the and heads, cruel. Can I just go a little bit further than foolish? People should look into the the group that has been killing all those people in the Donbass, uh, and research the okay. Azov is A Z O V battalion. Okay, and look at the makeup of that battalion. Okay. They're misfits, mercenaries, um, and the core is a group of admitted neo-Nazis. Okay. Now that's that's not you know. You, this Ukraine country, is a mess. I'm on not. Second, I'm not. Okay. All right. All right. In this country, if you have nothing to say and you're in an argument with somebody, you just call them a racist or a Nazi. No and disagreement there. Putin's not totally stupid. Um, he may be a little bit impulsive. Hmm. But um, look what how this all started, and the entire worldwide press is ignoring how this started. Right. What Biden should have done <clears throat> is he's bragging about I told Putin this, I told Putin that. Yeah. What he should have done is appeal to him to get together another Minsk conference, okay, of all the actors. And he said, you know, we'll organize it. Mm -hmm. That's what he should have done. Be no, he'd rather yeah. have a boogeyman. Right. And um, no one's going to bail out Biden. Nobody's going to bail out Biden. He's I don't care guy. how bad the boogeyman is. Biden's on his own. We're going to import so many millions and build up our oil reserves. What are you talking about? We were energy independent. We didn't need to buy anybody's oil. So now we're going to go back to the corrupt Middle East and buy their oil. And maybe go back to, you know, the corrupt... Um, yeah, you know, Eurasia group and buy their oil. That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't do us any good at all. We can disagree without being disagreeable, as my dad used to say. Oh, I, yeah. Well, you're talking about yourself now. No, I'm talking about both of us. <laughs> this is important because you see the comments in this last video, and people are just ripping each other to shreds. That's not what we do, even no, I, if we disagree. I, that's right. I mean, that's you come know, on. There is a, a reason to see more of the worldwide press and not rely on what you're seeing, even from Fox. I'm hey. not going to get an AK-47 and go fight the Russians. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tim. I appreciate it.